Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel for another mod showcase review and tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at Abyss number 2. Yes, or the Abyss chapter 2, however you want to call it. Now this mod is out on currently Forge 1.16.4 and 1.16.5. As of recording this, it only has 8,000 downloads, which is a minuscule amount. For how great this mod is. It's been amazing at the moment going finding these little gems of mods on the Curse Forge and bringing them to you guys to see what you think about them. Yet again with this one I want to know all your opinions throughout the video. What you think of the armors, the tools, the ores and the, di the dimension itself. There is so much to cover in this mod so I don't want to waste any more time. But if you are new to the channel guys, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, slap that like button. It really helps out the channel and it really encourages me and prompts me on more to bring more videos like this to you guys to make more little mods known to my audience, you lot, which is great and I love it and I hope you guys are enjoying all the content coming out at the moment. But as I was saying, The Abyss Chapter 2. The Abyss adds a brand new dimension to explore a full unique set of adventures and dangers. It's a dimension of pure darkness pretty much and the only light comes from magical blocks and various flora, fungi and fauna of the dimension. Um, it also adds a storyline which is pretty pretty cool I must say. You can, can encounter two different ends of the mod, so like two different uh, completions of it uh, by going up against two different mob bosses. It's pretty awesome, it's pretty epic I must say. So you've got to be careful when going through this mod because there is a lot of strange, weird and wonderful creatures in the dimension and I have encountered some of them in the overworld as well which I didn't, I don't think it's supposed to happen <laughs> but I have. Um, there is also a level system to every single mob in this mod so they start from ranges as of the moment, level 1 to level 5. So you could encounter a level 1 zombie or you could encounter a level 5 zombie. And of course, the strength goes up per level and just its whole stats, to be honest. So let's take a look at some of the ores and things in this mod. This mod adds in a load of new ores and items to craft with. You are definitely going to need a crafting guide. You're going to need the just enough items mod installed as well, purely because there's not really a wiki yet for this showing everything. So make sure to download just enough items mod so you can know exactly what you need to craft to get all these amazing suits of armors. These are just some of the suits of armors in this mod, so I'll put them in retrospect to what ores you're looking for. So this is the ice ore, which brings you this gem, which you can use to craft this suit of armor. Once you get all the gems and the ingots and the various items like that, the armor crafting is all in the same pattern, guys. So you don't need to worry about that if you get what I mean. So let's take you through some of these. So the fusion ingot... Um, you are going to, let's go over here for it actually, let's see if we can find it, you can have a charged fusion ingot or you can have a standard, so here's the standard one, made just like this from that fusion ore that I have behind or in front of me rather, or iron all around like this, then all you've got to do, smelt it, gives you the fusion ingot to then be able to go ahead and craft some of these armor sets. So just like this, using the charged fusion ingots with the iron boots. There is so much in this mod, guys. I, I really want to cover everything, but I'm going to have to be picky and choosy with what I do go over today because this video could easily be an hour long with what is in this mod. So the Abyss armor set is made with the Abyss diamonds, which is the third one here sat in about this area here. Um, over here we have the Abyss Ultra which uses Abyss Ultra Diamonds which are made using the Lauren and the Abyss Diamond combined to give you one Ultra Abyss Diamond. So the Lauren is this one right here, that new ore right there. And over here we have the Ice 
one using the frozen diamond just like here there you go you can see it all in retrospect there we also have the phantom suit which is made using the unknown helmet which is made from the unknown gems which are here so as i said guys there is a lot in this mod and i could spend ages going over everything but this is just sort of a brief rundown of what is here we also have loads of tools as well guys it's amazing how many tools they add in so it's pretty much a tool for every sort of ingot and ore or diamond or gem um, in this mod you have all the variety ones you have abyss you have ultra abyss you have fusion you have unknown you have phantom bone unauthorized and you also have the night ones now i will show you how to make the night stuff because it's difficult you need the ikora stone which is got from the ikora nuggets using pretty much any form of stone and then you need um, some night ingots, which are made from bricked night ingot there, and the Lauren energy, which is made like this. Guys, make sure to pause the video and rewind it so you can sort of see what's going on, because obviously I'm not going to go super slow through it. We'll be here for days, but that's a brief rundown of it. Obviously, same sort of thing for each one. There you go, you sort of get the gist with that. There is also a mad amount of like mythical items or you could call them, well, weapons, mythical weapons in this mod as well. My favourite has to be that bad boy. I don't know why I just knocked it off. Here we go, the Hammer of the Abyss. It looks epic and is just so, so cool and is just, it, it's, it's a madness to be honest. Um... You get it from a mob drop as well, or defeating one of the bosses. The mobs um, are very strong, and they drop strong weapons, which they all wield as well. There are ones in this mod, uh, mod as well. It's just there is just so much to this mod, guys. And then here is the story section. So here is the book. Um, one letter at one time, three, so a bit of a rhyme there. So here are the letters, and here is the monolith. And for whatever reason, the fish are in this section as well. Um, yeah, it's great. You've got to go through the various, uh, what you call, challenges in this mod by reading through the book, following the quests, and everything like that. There is also a mythical suit of armor set, the Abyss Slime Fusion set, which pretty much uses Neverite for a lot of it. So Neverite Leggings mixed with, mixed with Slime Fusion creates the Unauthorized Leggings. They are very, very strong. Very strong indeed. This is my favorite suit right here. And you know what, let's, let's put it on. Uh, I will show you what all the suits look like because I've got them all lined up. But this is the suit we are going to put on for now. It looks pretty flippin' epic. So these are all the suits up there. So all the mythical suits. They just they're just amazing. You can clearly see there are upgraded versions of those bad boys. But now on to what you guys are interested in and also well the there's some gates there, some awesome little gates. Now the portal to get there. Uh it's crafted like this. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Um remember the shape, remember the structure. Now we need the portal activator. So, you make this bad boy, uh, this guy right here, the portal activator, with, if I can get onto it, uh, da, 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 da. there we go, flint and steel, iron and lava bucket, very easy to make the portal activator, there's nothing too extreme about that, so it's pretty easy. And to make the portal actual structure, you need unstable obsidian, which is made from obviously obsidian and the Lauren gem, which you can get from mining that ore right there. So very, very, I'd say this is one of the most key ores in this mod as well, guys. So pay attention to that one, get as much of it as you can. Now, standard, hit it, jump through. Boom, and it will drop you straight 
over here, as you can see, it is a very dark dimension. Well, I say dark, the sun is currently shining down on it, but everything is very hard to see. And if you're not having a night vision potion, it is very, very difficult to walk around. There we go, we have our first encounter with a level 1 zombie. And over here, we have a level, oh, we have an abyss raptor, a level 1 abyss raptor by the looks of it. So, oh, and you'll come across a lot of these illager-like structures, which will be surrounded by the zombie-type creatures. That is... They're not their normal place to sort of hang around. So who else do we have here? We have an abyss guard. I'm gonna actually have a night vision potion, so I'm hoping that's gonna make me be able to see slightly better in this dimension. Um, because you know I want you guys to be there. We go. That was that has worked. An absolute treat. Okay, so some new blocks as well. Soaking it all in. All the new flora fauna, and. Yeah, it's just amazing looking dimension. I love it. It is just awesome. I want to know what you guys are thinking about this dimension. Are you liking it as much as I am? Because this is honestly one of my favorite looking dimensions, I think. I've seen it in a long time. It, it's just awesome. Just how everything is set up. How all the mobs are. How they all have their different levels. And over here, we have a scorpion as well. It's pretty awesome. Um... Just how everything is laid out, the build of it is fantastic. The mobs look awesome, they're not too varied, um, but they're varied enough to make it great. Uh, and there are different biomes, sort of, in this world. So, this I would say is like oh, not really the jungle one, it's its own sort of biome. I'm trying to liken it to the overworld, but you can't really. Now, let's go ahead and start spawning in some of these mobs. To get you guys having a look at them because they are just fantastic okay so let's see what we want to get in first we can we can just go for the general ones and see what we get to be honest oh did I get two of those yes I did okay so we have a abyss spider we have a creeper we have a cow for this dimension we have the guard we've been seeing we have the scorpion you've seen you have the end spider as well. You have a soul guard. You have the zombies we've seen. And you have night hunter. A level 10 night hunter. Damn. Dude strong. Dude very strong. Uh, and I've, I think they look awesome. I think they look absolutely wicked. Um, let's go for... Do we want to get out? Okay. They're just... Yeah... It's, it's, it's difficult to say which ones to get out and to, to show you guys because a lot of these are very different. So we'll get out this guy. Um, we'll get out that one. You'll want to see that. You'll definitely want to see that. Um, let's go for... Oh, it's, it's so difficult. Let's go for the level 4 soul guard as well. Let's go for that guard. Uh, let's go for the level 4 zombie as well. And let's go, you'll definitely want to see that guy, 100%, and then we need the Elder, which is one of the bosses. Uh, Ice Knight, not super needed, uh, cool, but not major. So where is the Elder Guardian? Okay, so we have an Elder, and then we have an Elder Guardian, which I'm going to swap that guy out for. Okay, so let's take a look at the wolf. The wolf looks awesome. Lovely, lovely little feature. I did I did encounter level 1 versions of these in the overworld. So that's what I was referring to earlier. Uh, level, oh, just a little level 2 wolf. So this gives you a great indication of the level difference. I know that's like the dire wolf I spawned in. Oh, we can see the boss bar for one of the mobs up, in my corner, up at the top of my screen right now. But don't worry, we'll take a good proper look at them in a minute. Uh, and then over here we have a soul guard, level 4. Pretty, pretty beastie creatures. Then we have an abyss guard. Oh, only a level 1. Um, elder guardian. Oh, I already did have one of those bad boys out. Hello. You're just, you're just one of those. No, we don't even want you. You're not even really part of it. What are you, what are you doing here? You're not, you're not supposed to be here. No, terrible. Okay, my bad. Um, then we have the Protect Guard. Now we have an actual Elder, and this is one of the bosses of this mod. 
one of the strong dudes. It has 80 HP and is not to be messed with or trifled with indeed. And then the Roaka, which you saw pop up at the top of my screen earlier, is a awesome, awesome mob. Look at this guy. Reminds me of like Anubis, like a very dark and evil Anubis. He has 200 HP. And the only thing stronger than this guy is his counterpart, the Roaka End Boss. Look at this thing. It has 900 HP. My excitement to do a mob battle with this is untold. It is just extreme right now. But it is an amazing looking mob boss, I must say. Yet again, no. I want to know what your guys' opinions are about these different mobs I've shown you so far. I'm not going to get out anymore. I'm going to let that be a little exploratory mission for you guys to go and see what mobs you can find. Oh, my night vision has worn off. Or have I just blindness been put on me? Oh, I'm blind. Um, but there you go, guys. That is going to be it for today. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the Abyss Chapter 2. I want to know your opinions and reviews on the mod. Now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.